which says that A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the N times T, where A is the ending amount, P is the beginning amount, R is the interest rate as a decimal, T is time in years, N is the number of times the investment is compounded each year. So if N equals 1, it's annually or yearly. N is 2, bi or semi-annually. Uh, N is 4, quarterly. N is 365, daily. And of course, there is another N. N is 12. This is monthly. And remember, if Wes, last time we did these stupid problems, they were doing it in parts of years. And you had to take, uh, what, eight months and make it eight twelfths, something like that. Weird things. They don't even do that in college algebra. Now, in here is when it's compounded continuously. It's the E thing, that one, that A equals P E to the R T. And that says it's compounded continuously. That means every single breath that you take. I use this prim primarily when we're talking about population. Because that's a th thing that operates continuously. Because every breath that you take, somebody's being born somewhere. So if you're looking at population, that means it's going on all the time. It never stops. Where interest, if you're doing compound interest, it stops to do a calculation and then it moves forward again. <coughs> now in college algebra, we're doing this right now. And uh, in fact, we just finished it. And so what they're doing, we're doing, is looking at radioactive decay. Uh, and that's a place where you end up having also compounding continuously, but instead of it's going down instead of going up. So you've been using that formula for something like that. Because it's always doing it. never stops. Never, ever, never, ever. And it says, find the accumulated value of an investment of 5,000. So that tells me what P is. For 10 years, that tells me what T is. At an interest rate of 6.5%. So that means R is 0.065 because R is a decimal, and then compounded in three different ways. Annually, semi-annually means N is 2. Monthly means N is 12. And continuously, this is the E formula. It's the E thing. So it's a plug and chug. <coughs> so A is, what did I start out with? $5,000 times 1 plus R, which is 0 .065, divided by N, which is 2, to the N, which is 2, times T, which is 10. So it's 5,000 times 1 plus 0.065 divided by 2 to the 20, and that's where I leave it to move to my calculator. So it's 5,000 parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 2 to the 20. That's why I do that final multiplication. And it's $9,479.19, because we round the two decimal places, because we're talking about money. $9,479.19 after 10 years at 6.5%. So just about doubled. If I'm compounding monthly, now that means that's 12 times a year instead of two times a year. I would expect I'm going to have more money, right? Because you're calculating the interest more frequently. And you're doing interest on top of interest. Then A is 5,000 times 1 
plus 0 0.065 divided by n, r divided by n, that's 12, to the n, which is 12, times t, which is 10, which is 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 12, and 12 times 10 is 120. So I get to do this again. So 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 12 to the 120. Now I should be around 9,000 something. Should be bigger than 9,400. And I'm in the range. 95, 60, 92. If I would have come out with $20,000, I know I would have made a mistake. If I would have come out with less than 9,400, 9, I would have made a mistake because the number should be increasing because I'm calculating the interest more frequently. This would be more like a checking account. You don't get 6% on a checking account, but checking accounts are usually compounded monthly. Well, at least you get interest monthly. Continuous is the E formula. So A is 5,000 times 1 plus, whoops, uh, that's wrong. What did I say that I needed to use? E. The E formula. It's 5,000. I'm on, I was on a roll. E raised to the R, which is 0 0.065, times T, which is 10. Again, I'm going to multiply that exponent. So it's 5,000 E to the, and uh, 0.065 times 10. <coughs> is 0.65. Now I could have done that probably in my head, but what, depending upon what day that was, I would have been, could be right or wrong. I mean, I, you know, I don't trust myself. So got the calculator, use it. Unfortunately, you now have that on tape. I'm in trouble. <laughs> So it's 5,000, and then E to the 0.65. Who what? Oh, OK. I know I said 5,000. E to the 0.65, and it should be bigger than 95. Why do I know that? Because it's, it's going all the time, right? Not much, 95.77.70. But notice they're all in the same area. And you're going to say, well, why would they all be in the same area? Well, because I'm starting out with the same amount of money. I've got the same interest rate. I've got the same time. The only difference is the number of times I'm compounding. So those numbers should be pretty close together. <coughs> 